Good morning. My name is Wouter de Kuerke. Um, I am a member of the South African Police Force, as you know, uh, situated in South Africa. Um, the organization that I work for, we are still working on a military uh, rank structure uh, that makes me a lieutenant colonel in the police. I've got 33 years service. Um, what I am actually doing is I'm working at the South African Police Service Legal Services Department and uh, I am in our labor division which means that I mainly handle arbitrations. Um, arbitrations being labor related matters that gets referred to a council. There is quite a few bargaining councils in South Africa and um, the South African Police Force uses the uh, SSBC, which is a safety and security sectoral bargaining council. That is the council that, that, that all South African uh, employees are supposed to refer cases to. The other major council that we've got is the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration, the CCMA. The CCMA is the main bargaining council in South Africa. That is where the most labor-related matters get referred to and the police can also end up in the CCMA, at the CCMA Council for Arbitrations, but like I said, it's mainly Triple SBC. Um, I give in-service trainings. I, uh, besides my 33 years uh, experience, I've also been at one of our training units for six years where I gave various police types of training. I've been in our legal department now for 16 years, of which 12 years have been um, doing labor-related matters, uh, specifically arbitrations. The reason is that uh, we, we recruit a lot of, of uh, police officials that get legal qualifications being uh, essential to be, to be able to work at the SAPS legal department and then um, they being lower ranks that is sergeants, warrant officers, captains. So what it means is that I from time to time have to present uh, training to these people. Uh, some of them are not very experience, experienced in labor law, labor, labor related matters and um, that means uh, that they, they need guidance because uh, not only on the procedures that the different bargaining councils uses, but we also use like labor, we've got the Labor Relations Act, we've got the Employment Equity Act in South Africa, Basic Conditions of Employment Act, Skills Development Act, Equity Act. So we've got quite a lot of labor laws in South Africa that you gotta have uh, some kind of knowledge about because it will come out in arbitrations um, concerning the arbitration uh, dispute itself and the procedure involved. Um, mainly when it comes to arbitrations we find that we've got to teach the people that uh, we've got two main legs. We've got, we've, got, we've got your dismissal side where a person gets fired from from the organization for misconduct that is that is a, a, and this person then obviously the employee that gets dismissed uh, then this this will happen in a, in a departmental hearing internal the SAP says organization will will hold the disciplinary inquiry against the member and they will go through a whole disciplinary process and if the misconducts of a very serious uh, nature, then one of the sanctions can be dismissal. Then the employee's got the, is on an obligation, but he has got the um, he has got a choice that he can refer his matter then for arbitration, and that is where we come in. Then on the next level, now one step after after your departmental hearing, we are now on arbitration. And we as legal officials for the, for the organization have to present the case on behalf of the employer. Um, the employee can also uh, make use of a fellow employee, legal representative, attorney, shop steward, union representative, 
uh, he's going to represent himself. They've got quite uh, a number of people that can assist them. Um, now, in this dismissal matters, it will they obvious. Uh, it also depends on we've got the we've got the employer employee. So we've got the applicant and the respondent in the case. Usually, the applicant will be the employee. He has referred the matter to um, the Triple SPC as the Baldwin Council. We use it as a fact. As I've said, so what we what we then do on a, on a dismissal case, there the onus or burner of proof is uh, from the start on the employer. So the employer will start presenting the case. Now presenting of a case, if you've got no uh, background in 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 in, in labour matters, then you must know. I must prepare documents. Documents can serve as evidence. But not merely the documents, I've got to call the authors, if it's necessary, of those documents to come and testify on those documents. And that document's then handed in as proof with somebody that can testify on them. Of course, witnesses, very important in dismissal cases, assault case, uh, corruption case, um, police trap was held, police officials on the scene, you've got to call them. Money, money was bribed, handed over, money was requested by the police official. So there we start the case, we run through the case, present the employer side of the case. After that, the employee gets his side of the case, he can call witnesses. After that, closing arguments, where you can either do it uh, verbally or in writing um, to the commissioner. And then the commissioner, which obviously chairs the, 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 the hearing, um, has then got 14 working days to make a decision. The decision is called uh, an, an award. So he will decide in whose favor he's going to decide, employer, employee. Now from there, appeals are not applicable. You, you, cannot, you cannot take an arbitration and appeal, but you can take it on review to the Labour Court. So that is one step further. This whole case can now go to, to Labour Court. Now, um, what, what, what we do is also, um, besides dismissal, we also, also got our un, un, for un, unfair labour practices. That will be where a person feels that um, wages, incentives, promotions, the employee feels that he was discriminated against. Now, of course, a discrimination can also be grounds for arbitration. That will be on race, gender, where you can take it. The only thing is sexual harassment is a straight referral to the Labour Court. Discrimination of any other kind can also be dealt with uh, through a bargaining council. Uh, but there's quite a number of Labour uh, labor, um, labor practice disputes that you can also deal with. So you've got to bring the legal official in the picture that he is going to deal with a, a quite a number of possible disputes that he will be able to handle. He will have to have background knowledge on, he will have to know how to prepare for it. Then of course being, being uh, le a legal field, there's a lot of legal terms. For instance, uh, a point in limine. That is where you raise a technical legal point where you say that the bargaining council hasn't got authority to handle this case. Um, and then you will state your reason and the other party can also respond to that and the commissioner can make a, a ruling on whether uh, he feels that he's got authority to hear it or not. So that is in short is then um, what I've got to do is I've got to present um, th through through lectures, through uh, re relevant labour law study material, of course very important in, in, in the legal field, current, important, updated uh, labour labour court cases, where, where, where you where you've got to present them with cases that they can use as support um, the legal official. Um, for, for to state their case, so 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 case law very important in the legal field, and then of course um, it is to present a strong case to, to handle the case in the best interest of the um, employer, and of course uh, that. 
that 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 provides that um, I have besides 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 that I have to cover the the, the, the labor law field, deal with arbitrations, go through the the arbitration procedure itself, technical aspects, legal aspects. Also, the best approach usually is do lectures, allow for for questions, let the the, the, the your, your 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 trainees ask your questions be prepared to immediately give them an answer you got to think on your feet and tell them this is how it's supposed to be dealt with convincing arguments that is how you're going to keep the confidence of your of your learner and then of course um, uh, very uh, very good is role play uh, simulations where you put the people in smaller groups, you give them different case, possible case scenarios that they have to face and from there they can come and give you feedback. So that is in short uh, what it's uh, to prepare legal officials in my department for arbitrations to do the best possible for the employer. Thank you very much.